we, we mentioned the smaller than expected loss, the revenue beat, they're raising guidance. We all know sports is coming back. And I just ask why you think we're seeing the price action we're seeing this morning? You know, I've uh, lost any sort of, uh, you know, faith that I can ever accurately predict any short term fluctuations in the stock market or our stock. So we just continue to focus on what we think is the right thing to do over the long term strategically. Uh, continue to focus on consistently uh, meeting or beating expectations. And I think if we do those things, then shareholders will reward us over the long term. And, um, you know, it's always important to focus on what you can control so we don't pay a whole lot of attention to what moves the stock up or down in the short term. Yeah. Monthly uniques um, up 114. Uh, obviously, uh, the mobile sports book, uh, DFS, uh, and, and the season at large, uh, as this economy reopens, I guess, can you put into perspective the, the, the tailwinds that you're expecting for the rest of the year relative to where we thought we were going to be, say, about six months ago? Well, you saw some of that in Q1. We had an incredible quarter, um, really just, you know, hit on all cylinders and uh, so happy with all the metrics and results that we delivered. We also did a ton on the strategic relationship side, a lot of products that we released. We have some upcoming social features, which I think are going to be game changing. So lots of exciting things in Q1 and lots of exciting things coming. And, you know, as far as the rest of the year goes, I think that as you see people, you know, hopefully return to more of whatever normal looks like, um, you know, we haven't seen any adverse impacts so far as more vaccinated people get out and about. Obviously, we think we had some benefit from, you know, more of stay at home and things like that. Um, but so far, we haven't seen any loss of momentum. So, uh, we're certainly being appropriately cautious about what that could look like, but uh, everything we're seeing in the data suggests that strong momentum is continuing, and uh, we you know, feel like we are well lined up to have a great uh, last few quarters of the year. Hi, Jason. It's Deirdre here. Um, I have a broad question for you. Legalization of gambling is now producing billions of dollars in tax revenue that was previously unrecognized. How can that, in your view, be best reinvested into the industry? What can it ultimately accomplish for the end user? Uh, well, first of all, I think we're still very early on. So uh, I think a lot of what we hope to, to do will be, you know, in terms of generating tax revenue will be over many, many years. And, you know, I think really at this stage, we're in the growth phase of the industry. New states are opening up multiple every year. We launched two last quarter, uh, Michigan and Virginia. And then we also had the uh, you know, Iowa started to take mobile registrations, which really opened up the market, as noted on our previous earnings call. We had more registrations on, you know, I think five days, I want to say, in January than we had the previous 12 months in Iowa. So lots of exciting things happening with new states opening up. Even our longest tenured state, New Jersey, had really strong growth year over year. Uh, so, you know, everything seems to be really in a huge momentum phase right now in terms of the growth. And I think we're going to have a lot of great uh, years ahead of us. And right now, it's all about investing and making sure that, you know, we get a healthy industry and one that has lots of satisfied customers that are uh, big fans of our products. Finally, Jason, um, we were just mentioning Kathy Wood's uh, ARC Fund, and she's going to be on our air later on today. Um, I just wondered uh, I, how CEOs uh, of companies uh, that she trades think about her and her sort of presence as a king maker these days. Do, how much of that of your bandwidth does that take up, if any? Well, I'm a great admirer of Kathy's. She's made a number of incredible calls. Um, I follow her on a personal level and uh, many of the things that she likes, uh, I look at and often invest in. So uh, I think she's really a, an incredibly smart person. She's obviously done extraordinarily well and, um, you know, very, very fortunate that she believes in us. I think that says a lot. And, um, you know, we're very grateful for her support.